Okay, today is going to be an interesting day. We've got a little outing planned to a very remote town of South Africa. Travis is joining us and uh, yeah, it could be quite fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Nampo, baby. <laughs> we are on our way to Nampo, which is the largest farming show in the Southern Hemisphere. We'll have to fact check. We're not farmers either, so it could be quite exciting for us. So we are going to the largest agricultural show in the southern hemisphere. We're not farmers. We're not farmers. Travis is an aspiring farmer though. I am not. I just really love tractors. <laughs> but uh, it's also a really cool flying event. So uh, the farmlands here in South Africa are very sparsely uh, populated. And uh, often guys use airplanes and helicopters to get to and from places. So it's actually quite a large fly-in. I don't think today is the busiest day, but Wednesday is the busiest day. And last year they had 190 aeroplanes land within the space of three hours, which is uh, absolutely ridiculous. Quite something. We worked it out to more than one aeroplane landing per minute. They uh, do set up a temporary uh, air traffic uh, zone. So there is an air traffic uh, controller. Uh, I don't know if they control or just provide information, but we will see when we get there. I've got all the frequencies, and yeah, it should be quite interesting visiting a farm show. No, no weird. Weather is beautiful. Clouds are high, and looks like there's absolutely no clouds on the direction we're going. Might get a little bit of a tailwind, which is nice. And then uh, later on this afternoon, the wind should actually die down, so we'll have almost no wind on the way back. So and at the current speed we're going, we'll get there in about seven hours. <laughs> Sorry, that, seven hours, seven minutes. That was the interesting question. If anyone can answer this question, perhaps in the in the comments, um, do you, can you build flying hours just by taxiing? No, yeah, we've been uh, we've been at hard at work trying to figure that out, but it seems like you can. But maybe there's something we're not aware of, and you people, you good people, also let us know. Because obviously, people calculate their flying hours on Hobbs time. Hobbs time starts when the engine starts. And yeah. you don't need to fly when the engine starts, you could just back the up and down. I suppose there is a definition of flight and definition of flight time, which I guess we could look up quite easily. But if you guys would like to comment, then just let us know, because we're really lazy. <laughs> and for sure. We want to involve you guys more, please. Just tell us. <laughs> and temps and pressures are good, ready to go. Yeah, rock and roll. Let's go, a little bit heavy, but let's roll. A bit of bang. I bet she still climbs like a bit dickens. Yeah. Not a breath of bump. I think there is a breath of wind. But no, the wind actually don't, looks quite hard down at the bottom there. Yeah. But there are certainly no bumps. No, the visitors don't look that bad. Got a nice uh, 15 knot tailwind, or maybe 10 knot tailwind. Oh, look at that, 100 over the ground. Okay, well, I think that the flight will get a little bit boring from here on out. Uh, let's just get out of this Joburg airspace and on our way over the farmlands of the, uh, I don't know if it's the Free State or the Northwest Province, I think it's the Free State. And um, oh, we will run the cameras up again probably mid flight and see you guys there. Good morning from Zulu Uniform India Delta Hotel. That India Delta Hotel? FM India Delta Hotel is currently 9 miles to the east of the field, 6,500 feet. Uh, request joining the landing. Good morning, India Delta Hotel. Your aircraft type person is on board and your departure area. Good morning. Uh, it is a KFA Safari, two persons on board. We've got two hours fuel endurance. Departure aerodrome was Petit Airfield, India Delta Hotel. Thank you, India Hotel, uh, India Delta Hotel. We have a QNH 1030. We have a QNH 1030 and the wind is 9 knots, bearing 090 degrees. Oh.
northeast of Napo, inbound from Napo will be... Dispatch 1030, copy the one, Sierra Delta as well. Romeo Square Delta. Nine miles out. We are currently 7.3 nautical miles to the east of the field, 6,500 feet. Napo traffic, uh, Romeo Square Delta, good day, Robbie 44, 4 crew. Okay, just stand by Robbie 44, in the Delta Hotel, are you okay from the east to a, a long final for 28? After that, we'll go long final runway 28, India Delta Hotel. Romeo Oscar Delta, Goeie Mora. Um, jy, uh, uh, ken jy die helikopter landing strut? Ek ken die helikopter landing strut. Ok, kom ons begin met die, die uh, Romeo Oscar Delta, jy is een R44 met vier mense, ne? Dit is recht, hy vir. Van waar af kom jy? Van Potje Strum af, ek kom vir Kwis in na Nambo toe. Napa India Delta Hotel is now on a two mile final runway 28. Uh, India Delta Hotel, you say a two mile final for 28? Napa two mile final runway 28, India Delta Hotel. Okay, runway 28 is clear, land at your own discretion, your wind is still 8 knots uh, straight down the runway, in other words, a tailwind. Copy that, uh, own discretion, runway 28, India Delta Hotel. A little invest take a logo here. We'll land a bit fast, but that's fine. That wasn't too bad, I mean, you're chased. You could feel that hell when you're arching you, bro. Hey, look at all these planes here. Wow. Oh, wow. Yo, there's a lot of planes here. In the Delta Hotel, like a big wheels you got there, eh? Follow the four-wheeler. We'll follow the four-wheeler. Thanks so, so much for the help in the Delta Hotel. Dude, Napo, we're here. Yeah, we, we made, made it, it bro. <laughs> <laughs> what if we have the best day ever? Like, we just have it like a jaw. Dude, I think it's going to be that, but oh my god, I'm so excited. Thanks. Okay, let's go and see some farm stuff. Let's do it. Let's go. We have arrived at the wonderful Nampo. Finally. The airfield is quite nice actually, but I think it's makeshift. It's definitely just a cut strip in a big field. And uh, we've arrived at the absolute aviation booth. It's a bit of a distance to walk into the show, but it was a nice welcome. I mean, we got a little ride on the golf cart. And... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some coffee. Hopefully it's free. So we are gonna walk into the show. I wouldn't mind grabbing some breakfast. I'm sure it's just gonna be a horrible stroll, but hey ho. No, I mean yes, they present us free coffee and a little, a little ride. Maybe we should just ask for a free breakfast, but we might be overstepping our welcome then. Yeah. Uh, should we walk to the traffic? So Travis has finally got the camera out, he is doing some b-roll and uh, had some food. It's kind of weird eating a burger and it's just like cows, live cows and sheep around. But we've had our food and now we're going to explore the show a little bit. Hopefully it's not too loud for this little mic that's on my GoPro. Ajah, yeah, dude, are you enjoying the show so far? Just absolutely splendid. <laughs> we're going to go and have a look at some of the livestock and I think we'll work our way back to the like machines and tools but yeah it's been rather interesting we've seen some miniature horses that which, are like, which are like the size of a dog well, actually smaller than a big dog no which is mascot for tractors called Tracti yeah we, we're looking for that mascot I think he'll be at the tractor section a tractor which could be potentially accessible for Travis over there to get on it. <laughs> Dude, there are footprints on it, so it looks like people have been sitting on it. I feel like you should just give it a go. It, ac it actually suits you, dude. It suits you. Oh, it's even got a... Is that revs per minute? It says N. 
this end for a minute. Newton meters per day. This is probably more difficult to operate than an aeroplane. Probably. Dude, you've got to actually fill the seats. But you look really good on that. I think you should buy it. <laughs> the low price of 600,000. <laughs> a little bit of information about Nampo. I think it was started in 1967 and there were only 200 producers that went to the first ever show. Now there are over a thousand producers in 2022 at Nampo, uh, which is all agricultural stuff including tooling, livestock and machinery. And yeah, it's a interesting event. It is now the largest privately owned farm or agricultural show in the southern hemisphere can you believe it that includes australia i don't think it includes the north pole though <laughs> it's not that far so. <laughs> one last mission before we leave nampo and that is to get some rumes, which is the Afrikaans word for ice cream. Hopefully they have a dip. I'm expecting a caramel dip I want a caramel with a dip. flake. With they a didn't flake. end up finding those tiny donuts either. Yeah, well they could be here. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. Let's, let's hope for the best. Okay, so mission accomplished. We have got our ice cream cones with mm. a caramel dip. Mm -hmm. I see you also like the caramel. There was oh, yeah. chocolate as well, but caramel is definitely the best. Yeah, dude, I think it's time to say goodbye to the wonderful world of Nampo. No. Walking through the car park on our way back to the airfield and I mean just look at how many cars are here. Probably we refuse to take the golf cart because we've got strong legs. Yeah. There's probably I'd say easily a thousand cars here. Oh probably if more. not more. Two thousand cars. <coughs> and uh, at the entrance I remember the last time I was here if you drive in it's 20 rand per car oh. to park on the ground oh, oh, oh. yeah so they're making some decent money here yes the John Nampo group. who would have thought the largest farm show in the southern well, hemisphere no I'm actually gobsmacked <laughs> Okay, so filling up a little bit before we leave. How many plants? Over 25. There's over 25 plants here, which is a very small turnout, but this is the first day for. There is 400 Nampo. buckies though. So Probably, I'd say over a thousand buckies did. Yeah. There's a there's a big aeroplane bucky over there in the form of a caravan. But yeah, we are fueling up, getting ready to go. The wind is kind of dying down, dude. Hopefully oh, there's like, hey, well, yeah. There's hopefully there's not too much of a headwind. And yeah, Nampo has been great. Had a chat to the guys from Sling, and it's funny seeing people you know at Nampo farm show. Yeah, yeah. But, but we so did. So many familiar faces. <laughs> exactly. So many. We're on our way back, and it's been a good time. <laughs>